Whistler Grand is located in West Coast Vale. In recent years, there have been a couple of rather successful new launches such as Park Rivera and Twin View, all built along this new road. I have been living in West Coast area for the past several years, which is why this review would definitely have some personal experiences in it. Whistler Grand is a 99 years leasehold development which comprises of 716 housing units in two 36 storey high towers. Whistler Grand is located rather deep within the private residential enclave of West Coast. It is not feasibly walkable to Clementi MRT or any shopping district and market. However, Whistler Grand is surrounded by many educational institutes including Nanhua Primary, NUS High School of Mathematics and Science, the National University of Singapore, and Singapore Polytechnic. So where are my potential tenants coming from? Based on personal past experience, the main source for tenants will be from these areas. It is also good to note that the government has put in place plans to develop Jurong area. More specifically, the future Jurong Region Line MRT and Jurong Lake District. In light of recent on block fever, Whistler Grand is within proximity to a few sites confirmed for on block sales. The following table shows the estimated breakdown of the future launches in those sites. We take into consideration the construction cost at $350 per square foot and a developer's profit margin of 30%. Whistler Grand is priced at an average $1,380 per square foot. This gives it a lot of room for prices to go up if future launches are priced as such. Many investors are drawn to new projects in the West because of the potential upside of Jurong Lake District being the second CBD in future. The close proximity to future high-speed rail terminals which connects Singapore to Kuala Lumpur within 90 minutes is one of the reasons why buyers are suddenly attracted to this location. A new Jurong Innovation District Envisioned as the industrial park of the future, will be built as part of government's push to encourage more innovation. What do these all mean to buyers? The way I see it, these new installations are set up to provide an exit strategy which is certainly feasible and profitable. The following flowchart briefly illustrates good st exit strategies whereby I expect prices to rise due to Jurong's transformation. In this comparison between the three projects under construction currently in West Coast Vale, we notice that Whistler Grand is the lowest average per square foot. Price for land in West Coast Vale has been on the rise since October 2016 where Park Rivera was launched. Based on the URA master plan, there is a possibility of more condominiums popping up in the future as there are two residential plots of land still available in West Coast Vale. I believe these two future plots would be sold at higher than $800 per square foot per plot ratio if they were released and because of the higher land cost, the asking prices would be higher considering it will have unblocked view of Dundon Reservoir and also the noise from the highway will be blocked by previous projects. Even though Whistler Grand is not located conveniently and there is not many surrounding amenities, nearby projects such as Park Riviera has 100% sold out and Twin View more than 85%. It shows us that there is strong demand for projects in the West Coast area and also the entry price for these projects is rather affordable by the majority of buyers, especially buyers staying nearby. I would recommend this to all West Side residences who are looking to upgrade from HDB to condominium. Interested to find out more? 
Visit Lovely Homes for e-brochures, floor plans and direct developer price list. Leave a comment, like and subscribe for more video reviews on new property launches in Singapore. Thank you and have a nice day.